All right, welcome back. It's your boy San Hindo, guy's favorite sneakerhead. Um, this episode, something different that I know most of you guys haven't seen, maybe you younger guys don't even know about. Um, but this is an episode about Greedy Genius. Uh, Greedy Genius uh, was a, a pretty reasonably big company or, or a kind of brand or a movement back in the day, back when bait was big and all that stuff. Um, it was started by uh, four guys one from Asia, one from Africa, one from the United States, and one from Europe. Um, and all those guys wanted was to build a brand that was bigger than just um, a logo or bigger than what sneakers had become at that point. So it was about quality, it was about materials. Um, it was really presenting a pristine premium package when you bought a sneaker. It was more to it than just um, you bought a sneaker and here's the box and go home and, and that's it. Uh, it was a lot of detail placed into every pair of sneakers. Um, a lot of these I haven't worn, a couple of them I worn and obviously they're much like super old, um, but I kept them. It's not really for like, I don't wear them anymore like that, but it's more for nostalgia. Like I just really don't want to let them go. Like I just, it's nice to reflect and look back on them for real. Uh, we'll just go through some of them and let you know what they are. It's not really a review or anything, just a little bit of history about each one. But most of the sneakers are based on culture stuff, traveling, things of that nature. Uh, because those guys were from all abroad and all over the place, it's a lot of stuff like that. So a lot of them were based on, like I said, travel and culture um, opposed to colorways and things like that. But the colorways came with those, those places, as you'll see as we continue through going through each sneaker. So they all have individual names. There's nothing different, little nicknames than how they were, you know, how sneakers are today. Um, so let's go through. This is generally how they come. So you got, this one is called uh, the Phantom. Um, so this is the sneaker itself. So a lot of this is like, all this is leather. The teal is all leather. The purple is patent leather. Um, the inside is, it's a very soft interior and the inside of every sneaker is the, it's a million dollar bill as the, uh, on the insole on the inside of every sneaker. All right, so that's how they all are. And the back, you know what I'm saying? The back says Greedy Genius. All of them say Greedy Genius on the back and they might have something else on the back. That's just how they did it. Everything is different. So these are probably some of the more basic ones. Um, and they also all come with uh, a dust bag. They all come with a dust bag. Everything, they come with some other things too, some of them, but they all come with a dust bag. All right, so that's it. It says Greedy Genius and has like a little logo on it. I don't know if you guys can see that. I kind of move it a little bit because I know it's black. So yeah, so that's the logo. All right. So those are, like I said, the Phantoms. All right, these, these are South Beach, okay? So once again, same thing. Um, all this stuff is more almost like a, a real short hair suede. Um, these are a little dirty. These are the first two pairs, this pair and that pair, those are the ones I know I worn in life. Um, but yeah, not my favorite other colorways, but it's it's something. So once again, um, has this has a South Beach like logo kind of on the side. Um, that's it. Here's the bottom. Nothing crazy. That's that. So these are like, to me, more basic of their colorways, um, but the material, it's a little bit of uh, like that short hair suede leather and also uh, patent leather. The yellow parts are patent leather, all right? So like the back is that, that kind of short leather, that short suede, and then the, these little sewn in parts are patent leather, okay? So that's how that is, all right? And these come with not just the sneaker, they come with laces, all right? And these, they come just like this package. And they have like the logo and all that stuff on it, on the back. I never opened these. And they also come with Greedy Genius socks. So here's the socks, never open, never worn. You know what I'm saying? So that's that. And then they also come obviously with the garment bag. Same thing, I told you, garment bag with all of them. So now these are a little more hectic. So these ones are called the Emerald Cities. So, the sneaker itself, and it has a boat on the side, like a speedboat. See what I'm saying? That's more of the lifestyle. So that's the lifestyle stuff. And then it has the, the little Hangman Greedy Genius logo. Yeah, now all these, uh, very good, like feels like a very good leather. Um, a little perforated leather on here. 
Um, the interior is perforated with whatever this little soft material is. It's not like suede or anything, but it's just a soft inner uh, inner lining on the booty. Um, but that's it. Even you know the tongue has the, the Greedy Genius logo on it. Here's the bottoms. You know what I'm saying. So I said these weren't. All of them weren't super ugly to me. Like I I, I liked them for for the time when they were made. They were cool. Um, but it's like you know obviously they're outdated style now in a sense. Oh. My bad. Also, these came with the uh, like little lace lock for the bottom. It's still attached, so it came with that little lace lock that you would put like right here. So, and it just says uh, it's like the little initials for Greedy Genius, which is G N dollar sign. All right. So also purple laces, so you can switch those out. So that's what these came with. All right. So a little bit of everything. That, that's that's like the quality like a lot of stuff doesn't come with it like a lot of sneakers even today don't come with different laces or extra this extra that or some of the detail that's on here but like even this speedboat part that's all patent leather that's all patent leather is like a real photo of two guys in a speedboat you know what i'm saying those were the emerald city all right now these these are probably some of my favorite ones um so these were called love and hate all right, so the crazy part is, like, the dope part, on the back, it says love and hate, right on the back. And this whole sneaker is suede, like, good quality suede, and also um, leather. So that's what the whole sneaker is. All these, all these parts right here, oh, my bad, let me see. This portion right here, and then the toe box on the side, that's all, like, very good suede. Um, and then here's the interior, you know what I'm saying, pink. I just I like this a lot. I like I really like this one. Um, even this back heel tab is patent leather. Um, but this this is kind of what their brand stood for was that quality and it'd be different to stand out from the rest. Uh, but it's very similar to how if you know anything about Bape sneakers and stuff, they did the same thing. Only difference was they had a star on the side. That was really good. So this was something that uh, if you know the rapper Stack Bundles, he was often seen in these and their whole outfits and hoodies and all that stuff. All right, so. Um, that's that once again dust bag just love that back where it just says love the hate like it's just crazy i don't know i just like that like it's stupid now and like you guys some people might not understand the nostalgia behind it but it is it's just for that time it was it's nice to go back in time like i told you i've done this for a long time i've been collecting sneakers for a long time all right so these are called the jolly ranchers you know, probably because all the colors and stuff but they have like a little 3m on it like you can kind of tell well because the light's hitting it um but it's just a crazy colorway. It's nothing. Um, it's leather, um, but it has that 3M effect to it. So greedy genius on the tongue, just like everything else. There's the bottoms. I'm saying nothing crazy. I've, I've never worn any of these three. I don't think I've ever worn any of these three. No, I haven't. Yeah. So all these, these top three, I've never had my feet in these. I just thought they was dope. Has the hang tag. Um, greedy genius on the back. On the back of both of these. And I know with some stuff some people don't get to see, but if you ever were to come across them, I mean, it is what it is. I mean, back in the day, I might have paid maybe 100, 150 bucks for each pair of these shoes. So I ain't no telling what these go for nowadays. Probably not much of nothing, but I just keep them, like I said, because of nostalgia, I just like to look at them. Just something that's in my collection that you don't see in everybody else's collection. Uh, but definitely a nice part of the collection is knowing that you have something that a lot of people don't have ugly or not ugly you like it or don't like it it's just something that i think is cool to have it and it's dead stock like, i get everything that came with them like that kind of stuff so it's super dope to me um, to have these as part of my collection and it just shows you how long that i've been collecting sneakers to some people that know what these are uh, but that was it these are those are all my pairs that i own i haven't seen much online about them so i figured i'd post mine because you don't see these like that uh people don't you hear people talk about them in songs i know rick ross has brought them up um more recently but it's it's, it's nothing that you hear about frequently uh, they kind of fell out of the loop of what's what's hot now so which is cool that's fine but i still got them and they ain't going to work you know what i'm saying so just something i want to share with you that's in my collection um by all means like again thank you for stopping by Appreciate y'all support, and uh, we'll do another video before you know it, man. All right, thanks a lot. Take it easy. I'll let y'all later. Yeah.